everyone, it's your girl Lily, and if you're watching this video, that means you've decided to make this new year your Turn it down, turn it down, too much, too much. And if you're watching this, that means you're serious about accomplishing your goals in the new year. Maybe you're alone, maybe you're having a vision board party, maybe this was a recommended video on another video you're watching, and now you're like, how the hell am I here? Well, you're here now. Either way, we're about to seriously manifest. I want you to ask me who the hell you think I am to teach you how to make a vision board. Why should you listen to me? Ask me, go ask me. Yo, who the butt crack are you? Great question. Now, real talk, I'm not good at everything, but I truly do believe I have the ability to manifest, AKA come up with goals, visualize them, work towards them, and then ultimately accomplish them. And I gotta say, I have a pretty high success rate. Like my first vision board had things like Twitter verification, hitting 1 million YouTube subscribers, or moving to LA. Since then, my vision boards have evolved to having things like working with The Rock, hitting the Forbes list, going on a world tour, and being on some of the biggest talk shows. Sometimes my accomplishments even surpass what my visions were. Now to test my ability to manifest, one year I even put what I consider the hardest thing on a vision board, the thing that's impossible to accomplish. I put the queen Beyonce on my vision board. And I kid you not, a few months later, I was at a party hugging Beyonce. Yeah, do you hear that? It's the sound of me putting my arms on eBay for $9 million. No, I'm not a witch. I just have a really great connection with the universe and I wanna share what I know with you. I'm proud to say I'm about to make my fourth vision board. So if you think I have what it takes to teach you how to properly make a vision board, then please keep watching. But if not, listen, I totally get it. I have put a bunch of videos in the description below to make vision boards from other people. I get it, I'm not for everybody, I'm very loud. Oops! But if you're still watching, what's up? Shall we get started? Let's do it. Here's what you'll need. Number one, a foam board. Number two, scissors. Number three, double-sided tape. Number four, Google. Sorry, so I don't, I, I forgot my physical Google. Has anyone seen my physical Google? Five, a printer. Well, let's be real, yours is not gonna work, so a printing service is, I use staples. And number six, a good mindset. Let's start with the easiest, which just also happens to be the hardest, which is a mindset. Now, I have never made a vision board while being in a bad mood, so if you're feeling discouraged or negative or upset, I don't suggest making a vision board right now. You need to have that mindset, you know, where you believe anything is possible. It's the type of mindset you have after you finish watching a Marvel movie or Harry Potter. You know when you like have that moment where you're like, oh, could I also be a wizard? That magical mindset, that's what you need. What's gonna happen is you're gonna cut out a bunch of images. You're gonna paste them onto a board. Every single image you put on this board is going to come true in your life. If you believe that sentence, you have the right mindset. If you don't, pause this video, go watch Harry Potter and come back when you feel like a wizard, okay? Hashtag not an ad. JK Rowling doesn't need any more money. You're a wizard, YouTube username. Now that we're in the right mindset, the next step is to make a list. Now, a lot of people don't do this step. They usually just dive in and start cutting out pictures. I don't like to do that because I think we'll just get distracted by pretty pictures that don't actually align with our goals. So make a list of goals. And listen, there's no rules here, just go for it. There's no big, there's no small, just words, sentences, phrases, goals. So your list could look something like new house, money, travel, promotion, eating right, reading more. Now, while you're making your list, you might have a thought. I had the thought this year, which was, oh my God, should I make two vision boards? One professional and one personal? Am I a genius? And then you know what I did? I slapped myself across the face because you only need one vision board. Had I made two vision boards, one professional and one personal, I would have been telling myself subconsciously that I can't have all of those things in one life at the same time. It would have made me feel like I had to choose one or the other and that is not the vibe I wanna create for myself. Listen, you can make sections on your vision board but you wanna make just one vision board so you can have one cohesive vision. Yo, that sounds so smart. That sounds so, yo, put it on a t-shirt. What up t-shirt reference? <laughs> now that you've completed your list, it's time to Google images or Bollywood remix. It's the time to Google. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah. Now when doing this, most people use magazines, but I actually prefer to use Google because with magazines, you're limited to perfume ads. And I mean, in the new year, I want to smell nice, but let's be real, they don't make any sense. Like this Chanel ad's not doing anything for me unless my vision board has microblading. I mean, fire! Same with this Versace ad. I mean, unless I want a glowing Pokeball perfume, 
No, thank you. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, was on my last vision board. Now when gathering your images, this is where the details matter. And I want you to remember three key things. Reason, specify, and manifest. What do those mean? Well, let me tell you. Reason. I want you to find images that inspire you. Not just inspire anyone, not just inspirational images, no. But that inspire you, the unique you. For example, if your goal is a new house, don't just find a new house that you think is pretty. No, 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 find the house for you that has that yard that your dog can run in, that has that meditation room that you've always wanted, or that has that pool where maybe you can visualize you and your future kids in said pool. This isn't just anybody's house, no. This is your future house. So make sure it has good reason. Next, you need to specify. One of the biggest mistakes people make when making vision boards is being too vague. For example, money is not a good goal. It's not specific. How will you know if you've made enough money to have accomplished your goal of money. Money isn't good, $100,000 is good. Travel is not a good goal, but India, China, Jamaica, those are specific goals. Another thing I want you to keep in mind, I know there's different ways of doing this, but when I make a vision board, I kind of have the mindset of one-ish year. You know, it might be a little less than a year, a little bit more than a year, but a year is generally where I'm aiming for. And the reason is, I know I'm gonna make many vision boards in my life, and so, I don't wanna just put, oh, millions of dollars. Of course, in my lifetime, I'd love to make millions of dollars, but for this vision board, I'll probably put a shorter term goal. Same with travel. You know, I'd love to visit all the countries of the world, but I'll probably pick three to five places for this year. So you don't have to aim small, but you don't have to be so overarching either. Yo, this is not gonna be your last vision board. You're gonna complete this one and then make another one and another one and another one. Am I DJ Khaled? Major visions. Okay, stop. Next, I want you to manifest and you can do this visually through the graphics you pick or the graphics you alter for example I've always wanted an Adidas collaboration I've always wanted to work with Adidas 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 bloke but what my mind the gap Adidas doesn't sound right anymore. Adidas, but instead of just putting the Adidas logo onto my vision board, I actually Photoshop what it would look like with their logo times my name. Check it out. And so that's gonna go on my vision board. Same thing with music. You know, this year I really wanna do more music and I wanna maybe release an album, drop a mixtape. <laughs> But instead of just putting a microphone on my vision board, I Photoshop the top streaming songs of the year and put my name at the top, just so I can manifest. Lastly, if you're gonna include words, good for you, include words, phrases, quotes, but I suggest you keep them relatively short. I do not suggest you put big paragraphs and a lot of fine details on your vision board, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. Guess what? Oh my God, you've gathered all your images and now you're ready to print. Oh my God. Print all sizes, okay? Seriously, don't overthink this. Size doesn't matter. <clears throat> Said no girl ever. But no, in this instance, it doesn't. I actually put many images on one page just so I have multiple sizes to work with. I even splurged and got the high quality glossy print paper because you need to invest in yourself, okay? You don't wanna be printing your visions on no iPod Nano, stop it. Once you print, it's time to cut. Once you've cut out all your visions, you can start to organize your board. Like I said, I like to make little sections. So I might put work stuff over here, uh, travel stuff over here, maybe quotes here, work stuff here, personal stuff here, inspirational people here. Now I always pick one image, the one that's really important to me, to put in the center of my board because this is what I wanna build my foundation on. And my center image is a quote, it's about self-love. It says, self-love is your superpower. That's gonna go right in the center because without self-love, what's the point of any of this? I I play around with the images a bit, you know, just move them around, and this is why I do this before I tape, because inevitably you'll have to move things around to make this all work. Once you got a good template, it's time to make that ish stick. I am using double-sided tape, why? Because I don't wanna do that thing with regular tape, we gotta take it out and make the loopy thing and put that, no, time is money, okay? Also, this was on sale. Yo, money is money, okay? <laughs> Tape, 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 tape some more and then tape some more. You wanna make sure that all of your visions are secure because I can't tell you how annoying it is to be about to get that new car and then suddenly it disappears because the picture of the car fell off because your whack tape job, okay? Mm -mm, hate when that happens. Boom, done, congrats, you just finished your vision board. Ta-da! Oh, this is very, oh, this is much larger than I anticipated for this frame. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da! 
You see me in the vision. Ta da! Wow, this is very large. Okay, well, now what? Well, if you watch or read things like The Secret or anything related, they tell you that visualization is so important. And if you make a vision board, you sit back, you visualize, and then the law of attraction happens. And I'm like, aw, that's cute. You don't get me wrong. I think the universe does respect the law of attraction, but I also think it respects the law of hustle a lot more. So here's how I use my vision board I put it somewhere that I see every day. Oh no, you'll have to ruin your aesthetically pleasing room. Just put it on the wall. Put it in your room, put it in the hallway, somewhere you see. And this is why I said that I avoid putting a lot of details and big paragraphs on my vision board. Because the idea is when you walk by it, your subconscious is seeing all these images. And your subconscious can't really dive into a paragraph as well as it can read a lot of great big words and pictures. Every once in a while, visualize. I mean, like proactively visualize the things on your vision board. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I also wrote this in my book, but a lot of times when I make vision boards, I will dedicate time, whether it's before I sleep, while I'm on a long drive, if I have a few minutes to spare, to pretend and act out my visions coming true. I used to be back home in Toronto and I would listen to the radio and I would hear all these people be like, hey, this is Miley Cyrus and you're listening to Kiss 92.5. And I would think that's so cool. And I would think, oh, I can't wait till I'm important enough or I'm enough uh, in, in the industry to be able to do this. So on my long drives, I used to out loud after every song be like, hey, this is Lily Singh and you're listening to Kiss 92.5. And I would do it over and over again until it became a reality. And I actually started to do it for real for radio stations. And it felt like I had all this practice. Same with auditions. If I really want an audition, I will actually spend 10 minutes pretending I already got it and doing an interview about the role. Like, oh man, yeah, the audition process is really tough. But now that we're on season 10, I mean, it's so cool to look back. You don't gotta be super strict with the schedule of when you do this, but just anytime you have a few spare moments, visualize. Step number three, and this is most important and probably the one a lot of people don't wanna hear, you gotta work your butt off. Listen, real talk, all this stuff is great. To-do lists, planners, vision boards, but these are all tools. None of this works unless you work. The great thing about a vision board is now you have a template, you have a guide. You know the direction you're going. You're working with intention. You're not just shooting in the dark. But it won't work unless you put in the work and you hustle. And I get it, baby, I get it. Trust me, it can be so hard when you feel discouraged or you feel tired or you feel confused. You don't know how to hustle sometimes, which is why I'm gonna leave you with this final thought. If you ever feel discouraged or negative or you don't feel like you can do it, know that my success was not easy and it was not linear. It was hard as hell. And the reality is excuses will get you nowhere. Ex oh, you don't make excuses? No, I'm talking about the excuses like you're tired, you're lazy, you're confused, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to do it, it doesn't feel good, you failed, you got rejected. Excuses, those are all excuses and excuses do not serve your visions, so stop making them. There is no secret ingredient, there's no magical recipe to success. It's just hard work. All the people you put on your vision board, those inspirational people you look up to, they worked hard and you have to too. So one day when you're on someone's vision board, they will look at you and they will know that, yo, you, you worked hard, you hustled, you were tired and you kept going. You failed and you got back up over and over and over again. You did that. And you did whatever it took because entitlement is not cute. No one gave this ish to you. You earned it. So stop, stop. I want you to get up, take control of your life, and make ish happen. And not just because I'm telling you to F me, forget me. This is about you. Do it because you deserve it. The only person standing in the way of you and your dreams is you. You are your only obstacle. So get up, get out of the way, get to work, and be on your own team. Now go make those visions a reality. I'm still here, it's still me, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my video, I appreciate it, I hope you had a good time. I know I did, um, anyways, HUSTLE HARD! Yo, if you're still watching this video, congrats. You don't have the attention span of a squirrel. Make sure you click subscribe because I want to be on this journey with you. Don't be selfish with these W's. Share the wins, share this video. Let other people know how to make a vision board. And if you ever feel lazy, know that the first time I shot this video, my mic didn't work and I did it two times. The hustle is real. One love, Lily. That is a wrap and zoom.